there's a new update in the Justin Evans case. It's now been five months since Justin has been missing and assumed deceased. A few weeks ago, a body had been found in the area of Huntsville, about an hour away from where Justin disappeared. His family has been waiting for weeks for answers and for DNA results. However, yesterday in an online article by MuskokaRegion.com, there was a brief interview of the detective on the case, his name is Matt Watson, of the OPP Criminal Investigation Branch. Matt has a 25-year background in his career. Matt said, we haven't found any remains that we believe are Justin's at this time. I'm finding this one of the more challenging cases. It's a sad case, a frustrating case. We haven't settled on any specific investigative theory at this time. Now, this case has been ruled criminally suspicious. Justin was in his shed at the time of his disappearance, and the shed was a crime scene with evidence of blood. Whatever happened in that shed makes the authorities believe that Justin is no longer alive and deemed the circumstances as suspicious. And if the authorities are deeming it as suspicious and that Justin couldn't have sustained his injuries, then the question becomes who helped in the disappearance of Justin? and in his death, who also helped him vanish, and how many were there? Justin's six foot three. He's not a little guy. It's gonna take more than one person and possibly even more than two. And so then the next question is, who's helping cover this up? Now, Matt says, we are continuing to look for him. This is a rough country and there's a lot of square mileage. This area is very beautiful. It has a lot of water, a lot of lakes, and a lot of trees. It's vast. If you look here, you'll see the area of Kilworthy, Ontario, Canada. And it is surrounded by miles of trees and a bunch of lakes, small and large. Here is the area near the trailer park where Justin lived. Now, if we take this area and zoom out, you can see it just keeps going and going with tons of trees, tons of water. So where do you look for a needle in a haystack? Where can Justin be? And where did the people involved in Justin's death and disappearance take him? Where do you even start? In order to conduct searches, you need clues and leads. And it seems here, perhaps there aren't too many clues outside of that shed. A 22 year old, six foot three man has vanished into thin air and he doesn't drive, and no one seems to know anything except they do. And I can see how this case is frustrating, especially when half of the people involved keep switching their stories, lying, protecting themselves, and protecting others. They're also stretching out a timeline. Why? Now, Justin's mom, Jamie, made a statement in this online article. She says, knowing the remains that were recently found are not likely to be Justin's brings mixed emotions. Justin needs to be found. His family needs closure and he needs to be taken care of. But there are other families out there with missing loved ones that are needing the same things. Our hearts go out to all of those families and we pray they find closure and peace. No one deserves to be living in this kind of torment. Moving forward, we continue to hope and pray Justin is found and can't thank the public and our community enough for their ongoing support. Justin's sister, Kristen, was on my channel in this last week. And she was speaking about Justin, his family's memories of him, and also addressing important details in the timeline and discrepancies. There's a lot of them. This timeline is always evolving, but most notable is it changes often by some of those who were very close to Justin. Again, why? Thank you to those who have commented in my videos and also to those who want to know my thoughts on Kiera's latest timeline and some comments that she's made. I will be addressing those and that'll be in another video. Now, if you have information about Justin Evans, please contact the OPP at 1-800-310-1122 or at Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-8477. Someone knows something. If you do, call and report it, even if it's small. Also, you may feel like it's small now, and perhaps it's not that big of a deal to you. However, if you carry this for the rest of your life, it doesn't get lighter. And holding on to that also manifests in different ways. You can also report it anonymously through Crime Stoppers. Justin does not deserve this and his family doesn't deserve to be sitting in limbo and wondering where he is, and limbo is hell. And you may think something like this won't ever happen to you, until it does. And then you're relying on others to help in the same way Justin's family is asking for your help. It's time for the lies to stop. 
It's time for the truth to come out and it's time for Justin to come home. Please share this video out where you can, and please hit the notification bell and subscribe for updates. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.